What's going on guys, it's Low Floored and welcome back to another SCUM video. Today I just wanted to share with you guys all features that are confirmed for the Point .6 update. And we also got a teaser for what I'm guessing is the trailer for Point .6, so we'll dive into some speculation as well. But if you guys do enjoy the content, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to your favorite piece of bread for more content. I really do appreciate you guys. First up, we're going to be talking about the obvious, and that is the fact that the new metabolism system will be coming in the next Point .6 update. This is a whole rework on the metabolism system, which means that we are going to be looking at our character just a little bit more. We're going to have to watch what we eat, what we drink, because that's ultimately going to affect our ability to survive on the island. If you are eating nothing but fat, chips, and chocolate, your character will start losing strength and will be losing dexterity as well. But now, your strength, constitution, and dexterity are affected by your protein intake and fat intake. I will be doing some videos to try to get you guys up to speed when the time comes to help you guys have a better understanding on what I mean. An interesting fact is that the level 5 strength is not the highest level for strength. You can actually get up to level 8 strength, but you will not be able to start as a level 8 strength. You will need to build your character up to get to that point, which I think is really awesome and is going to make for a more personal feel with your character. We're also getting some new features called Action Difficulty and Performance Score. Your performance score is basically the speed of all the actions that you do in game. This is affected by your muscle mass, fat mass, and how much gear that you're carrying. If you have a lot of muscle, you will be able to carry more gear while being able to perform actions easier than someone with a little bit of muscle. Your performance score will be greatly affected by your dexterity as well. Now when your character is overweight, you will visually see the effect that the weight is carrying on your character, and they will hunch over trying to use their back as leverage to keep the backpack on, which is a really nice touch. The action difficulty is how hard an action is on your character. If your character is carrying a lot of gear and it's too much for them, you will see the new bar on your constitution telling you whatever you're doing is taxing on your character. This takes into account to what you're wearing, your strength, constitution, and dexterity values are, and even the level of terrain that you are walking on. If you are jogging uphill and are carrying a lot of weight, since the hill is inclined, it's going to take a lot more work to get up that hill as opposed to walking on flat land. This also takes into account when you're cutting down trees, you're cutting planks, doing anything that is action oriented. The action difficulty will vary depending on what you're wearing and your dexterity, strength, and constitution values are. Next up we have is the medical system that is going to be coming to the game along with some new medical items that are going to be useful for us whenever we are hurt. It also looks like we will be getting a medical skill added to the game as well. And if you guys seen my recent video on the medical system, you'll see that there are four classes of hemorrhages along with different items that can be used to treat them. As you can see, we have new items like the pressure dressing, the hemostatic bandage powder, and the tourniquet. But we can also see that depending on your skill level, you would have an easier time healing with certain items along with some buffs to stabilization. I'm not going to dive too deep into the medical stuff because I have a separate video explaining all of that, so if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Along with the new metabolism and medical systems means new effects to show off what your character is feeling. If your character is getting hypothermia, you will start seeing the frozen type of effect coming onto your screen, signifying that you are getting cold. And the same goes for when you're getting too hot. You will start seeing sweat dripping down your screen, and if you're getting a little bit too, too hot, you will start experiencing a blurry vision, and you'll experience a tunnel vision effect as well, which is pretty cool. They also showed off tripping on mushrooms, which is really cool. I always wanted to trip on shrooms with the boys and maybe go swimming or something like that, and I just think little stuff like that is really cool. But it is also confirmed that we will be getting dirt bikes in the next update, which is going to make for a speedy getaway and some nice races. Along with that, we will be getting a heap of motorcycle gear like jackets that are from the scum community and helmets as well. And with that, I believe that we are going to be getting that racetrack POI that was teased a little bit ago, along with the train yard POI that Tommy Slob tweeted out before. And I'm happy that we're seeing more POIs in these new sectors. We're also getting a rework to the forests and their acids, which should make for a more prettier landscapes, as well as saving on performance. We're also going to be getting the long-awaited revolvers to the game, and I'm not too sure how many we will be getting, but I know for sure that we're going to be getting a couple of these bad boys in. I just hope that we get an option to do Russian Roulette. Next, we're going to be looking at some speculations that I have that I think will be coming to point six, and that is some type of vehicle customization. Tommy Slav showed off this three second video showing off motorcycles and some pickups that look like they've been upgraded. They've talked about upgrading vehicles for a while now and this may be coming to the game. Tommy also showed the dirt bike that has been upgraded with metal and has a goat head on top which looks super cool. Another thing here is the metahumans that are in the trailer. 
I highly doubt that we'll be seeing metahumans in point six because I heard they can be hard in performance, but I'm sure once they get optimizations done, we will be seeing them in game and we will possibly be able to customize their characters more or they will just be NPCs like traders or guard AI or something like that, but I'm not too sure. But that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys are just as excited for the point six update as I am. It's been a long time coming for the metabolism system and I know that game pirates will be updating the metabolism with more features like infections and other stuff like that, but I think this is a great base for what's to come. So tell me guys, what are you most excited for to see in the next scum update? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. But thanks to everyone for popping out to the video, we're almost at 4,000 subs so if you guys do enjoy the content and want to see more videos like this or any scum related content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching the video, I really do appreciate it guys. I'm Lowfloored and stay toasty out there.